Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy D. And we're on the beat thing, and I'm going to just show you how to track out a beat right now. And we're going to track it out in the Pro Tools. And right now we're we're using, um, this is the new version that we're testing out. The 1.2.5 F4. And it has some new features when it comes to tracking out a beat. I already I put my USB drive in there. The name of the the name of the beat is Too Hot. Okay, that's the name of the beat. All right. So that's the beat right there. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what we call a um. We're gonna do I'm gonna show you. We're gonna we're gonna track it out. So what the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit export. <clears throat> now once I hit export. I have an option of pads, meaning that say if um if I have a kick and a snare and a hi hat on track one, say if I did the beat on track one or if I did two sounds on the same track, it's gonna track out everything. It's gonna track out each individual pad, and then um I have um mix down we you know mix it mix it down tra track out mix down um live if I want to play it if I want to just mix it um export it but at the same time I'm exporting it you know due to my drops and stuff like that that's if you don't do it in song mode you know but when you're really tracking it out you want to track it out or tracks meaning that I can do it if I can select tracks and just track it out and it it'll do it by tracks but the thing about that is that if you did a kick and a snare on the same track there when you track it out it's going to be on the same on the same track on pro tools so, but you want you if you know when you really want to mix it down and everything, you want everything to be separate, kick snares, everything separate. So we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do pads. We're gonna do pads because there's a couple of of beat uh, um, sounds that I put on the same on the same track. So once I do that, once I hit pads, it's, it's pad 16 bit. I'm in. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit record and I'm hit play now it's gonna go through tracking out and right now it says exporting track one pad zero alright see now it says exporting track one pad two so th that's what it's doing it knows that I used another sound in track one so it's gonna you know keep it there now it says exporting track one pad four so it's, it's separating e each individual pad and it's going to basically put it in a folder called um, Too Hot, all tracked out, all, you know, all ready to go. We're just going to let this finish. Now, normally, like, say if you got a, if you got a, um, an MPC um, 2000XL or an um, MPC 1000, you have to have, you know, the eight outs, you know, and that does eight tracks at a time. And you know, and if you kick and you and if you put a kick and a snare on the same track, then you'd have to mute it. It's, it's a pain. It's a pain. And you have to have to all, all, you have to have all the wires and everything. You know, all your quarter inches going out to the to your box or whatever. But you know, there's you don't have to do that anymore. You know, with the beat thing, you just hit export and put it on your flash drive, and you're good to go. So. It's about to be finished now. All right, so now it's finished. Now I'm, I'm telling I'm telling it that I want to put it on a USB, or you can put it to your SD card, but I'm gonna put it to your USB. Now it's gonna it's gonna go to the USB, and you know, I mean, it's pretty simple. Especially you know, some you you make a beat, you selling it to somebody. You know, usually what I do, say if um if if I make a beat for somebody. And they buy it. I usually just give them it. I, I put. I get a flash drive. Flash drives are cheap, and I put everything on a flash drive and give it to them just like that. So you know, the flash drive is cheap. You're selling the beats for a few hundred dollars. So it makes it makes sense just to give them. You know, just give. Just go ahead and give them a USB. Don't be cheap. All right. So, all right. So now it's on here. Take my take my drive out. Now we're gonna go over to. We're going to go over to Pro Tools. Let me bring you over here where you can see. Alright. I 
think that's good right there. Yeah, I think you can see everything I'm doing. Right there. Alright. Okay. So, I'm going to get rid of this track right here. That's the track I was just using so you can hear this. You can hear... You can hear the sound that I, you know, that I was playing, but we're gonna, we're gonna delete this track right here. So track, delete. All right, so you got a brand new session right here. Now I want to import, I want to import, you know, the tracks, you know that that beat. So I, I click import, I click audio to track. Now I already plugged my USB in. USB says files right here. And then I'm gonna go into samples, where it says samples right here. And here's a folder that says too hot. That's the folder it made for it. And here goes the sounds. So now I'm gonna highlight all the sounds because I want to import. I want to bring all those in. And I'm gonna hit convert right there. So to bring it all in, then hit done. Choose that. So now it's bringing all, putting all those sounds. In, into my Pro Tools. So the only thing I'm gonna need now is, you know, I tell it where to do the drops and everything. So you're about to see this any second. And, it, and if you guys use Pro Tools, you know what exactly what I'm doing right now. So I just wanted to make a video, just to you know, just a recap on a video that I did before. But you know, like I said before, the um, the beat thing didn't have the pads when you when you hit export. It didn't have an option for pads track out each individual pad but now it does and and the thing about the BKings BKE they're they're always updating and you know fixing bugs and you know they're hands-on with everybody so that's what I like about this company you know and you know they're always looking for feedback so all right so here goes here goes the, here goes the, here goes all the, everything right here. As you can see, it's all checked out. Let me, let me highlight it so you, let me group everything so you can see it. I'll make it smaller right here. Let's put it on small. All right, so there goes my tracks right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tracks right there. And then I hit play. I can hit play right here. <laughs> Now, the thing is that now I already know. I, I usually what I usually do is set my tempo um, for my track. I already know that it's 94, so I, I put that on 94, and I usually put it on grid. And then I um, right here I, I click um, sample right here. So now what I do, what I usually like, say if I want to make it longer or you know, because this is only this is only for like 16 bars. So say if I, if I want to make it longer. What I'm gonna do is from here, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hold Command down and hit D for duplicate, and I just bring that right across the board. You guys can see that. You know, as long as I, you know, I can go as long as I want. You know, so now, here you go. You know, now you got your. So if I even start it right here, right where it's about to all go together. And this is where, and like I said, this is where you start taking out. You know, if you got hi hats, let me make this big again, real quick. Let me make it medium. And this is where you start taking out your, you know, when you start wanting to take out things, um, you know, when you want to shorten it, you know, do whatever you want. You know, you, you got to put your drops and everything in. So that's how you track out from Pro Tools. I mean, in, into Pro Tools. And you know, you could solo it. You could solo anything you want. If you if you want to solo something, you can solo something. So that's how you um and it, you see it works fine. So I mean it, it, it's great and, and it it tells you what in here it tells you what you know what pad it was. This says too hot track one pad zero. This says too hot track one pad two. So th there goes the sounds. So it's, it's letting me know actually this 
Alright, so these three right here are actually were on the same track. They all say track one, pad two, track one, pad four. So th these were actually recorded on the same track, but when you track it out and you use pads, it tracks out each individual pad. And that's how you do it. B thing, it's your boy D. Holla at me. Subscribe. I need some more subscribers, so and follow me on Twitter, man. DL Peace. You know, at DL Peace. So follow me on Twitter. And um always try to keep you updated on what's going on with the beat thing with beat kings and i'm out peace